Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Lovely and I make Philippine travel updates. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you the latest update on the international and domestic travel update at the Mactan Cebu International Airport starting March 8th of 2022. Now, Cebu City is considered as the oldest city in the Philippines. It is also called as the Queen City of South. And this is where Christianity or the center of Christianity in the country. Now, Cebu is beaming with wonders of nature such as the pristine beaches, whale sharks, and also the breathtaking hills and mountains, historic sites, and of course, the delicious food. Now, let us first talk about the domestic arrival travel guidelines at the Mactan Cebu International Airport. Now, I'm showing you guys right now, these are the flights advisory. These are available domestic flights starting March 8th of 2022. Here, the first one is the schedule for the Philippine Airlines. Okay, so from Manila to Cebu route, they are flying seven times daily. Another is Cebu to Bacola, they fly three times weekly every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. They also have, we also have here Cebu to Katiklan, you know, for our domestic travelers going or transiting or from flying from uh, Mactan Cebu International Airport going to Boracay. So they fly Cebu Katiklan, Katiklan Cebu, they fly three times weekly. Tuesday, Friday, and Wednesday. And for domestic travelers to Davao, they also have daily schedule. Also, Cebu to Siargao and Siargao to Cebu. Philippine Airlines is flying three times weekly, every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Now, let's also talk about the flight schedule of the Cebu Pacific. All right, so for Cebu Pacific, they only fly 10, oh yeah, they have many flights scheduled than Philippine Airlines from Manila to Cebu because they, because they have 10 times daily schedule. Now for Cebu to Katiklan, for Cebu Pacific, they also fly three times weekly every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And Cebu to Iloilo or Iloilo to Cebu, they fly three times weekly every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Right, moving forward, um, we also have Cebu Pacific flight, Cebu to Tacloban, they fly daily. And Cebu to Zamboanga, Zamboanga to Cebu Pacific, they fly one time weekly, and that's only every Sunday. Now, if you guys or domestic travelers going to Palawan, so you can also book a flight through AirSwift. AirSwift is, you know, um, they can fly Cebu to El Nido, Palawan. El Nido to Cebu, they have twice, or they fly twice weekly. That's every Monday and Friday only. Now for AirAsia, they only have one route. Currently at the Mactan Cebu International Airport, like the Cebu to Manila, Manila to Cebu, and they only have two times uh, daily schedule. All right. So please take note that the schedule may change anytime. So I advise the passengers to check, you know, with their airlines and you, you book or visit the official website of this uh, commercial airlines to check the available flights for their intended destination. So I will also put the links in the description below to check the latest flight available, all right? Now, for domestic travelers, these are the travel protocols to Cebu City for vaccinated and unvaccinated domestic travelers. So Cebu City is on alert, is under alert level two until March 15, 2022. So, for fully vaccinated domestic travelers, you need to present a proof of acceptable vaccination with QR code. Now, if you don't have a QR code, you just simply present the official certificate, the vaccination certificate issued by your local uh, health officer. All right. 
And of course, if you present your proof of vaccination, you must also present valid ID with uh, bearing your holder's picture and your signature. And the good thing about fully vaccinated, guys, if you are traveling to Cebu City, you no longer need uh, a, a negative test result to enter Cebu. That is only for the fully vaccinated domestic travelers going to Cebu City. All right. Now, how about the domestic travelers for Cebu City, the unvaccinated, partially vaccinated, and unverifiable vaccination status? Regardless, guys, of your place of origin. Okay, so regardless of your place of origin, you must or you are required to present. Okay, number one is the negative RT-PCR test result taken within 72 hours. Or if no, if it's not RT-PCR test, then you have the option to use a present a negative antigen test result taken within 48 hours. Or if not antigen test, you can also present a negative test or saliva test result taken also within 48 hours. All right. All right. Now, so now if you are domestic travelers to Lapu-Lapu City and Cebu Province, for Cebu Province, guys, you only need to present your official vaccination card or certificates, all right, for, for fully vaccinated, of course, with valid IDs as well, and you don't no longer, no need to present a negative RT-PCR test. Now, for unvaccinated travelers to Cebu province, you, you need to present a medical certificate issued within 24 hours before their, your arrival to Cebu. And of course, you can, must also bring valid IDs as well. All right. Now, for, every, for individual traveling to Lapu-Lapu City, Cebu, you need to present a negative test. I mean, proof of negative test results not, are not required and also you need to present some proof of vaccination certificates as well all right now for domestic travelers fully vaccinated going to mandawe cebu city here is your uh protocols you need to present official vaccination certificates of course you with your valid id no need for rtpcr test or negative rtpcr test for fully vaccinated. Now, for unvaccinated, you need to present an RT-PCR test result, negative result within 72 hours taken before your departure or a negative antigen result taken 48 hours before your departure. Now, guys, please take note that the tests must be taken from accredited and licensed testing centers and laboratories by the Department of Health, all right? Okay, so I will put in the description link, you know, below, you know, the list of accredited and licensed testing centers by the DOH for your reference. Now, if you wanna contact, you know, the local government units of Cebu, so if you're planning, if you are vacationing to Cebu and you wanted to verify the latest update or the travel updates for Cebu, uh, you, you have in the screen the contact details of the LGU for Cebu City, Lapu-Lapu, Mandawe, Cebu Province. This is based on IATF Resolution Number 163A. All right. Now, the next topic will be the arrival protocols of all international passengers at the Mactan Cebu International Airport. So the MCIA shall observe the applicable arrival protocols in adherence to the IATF uh, protocols referring to the resolution number 160A and 160B. Okay, so the following on your screen, you will see the available international flights starting March 7 at the Mactan Cebu International Airport. To start off, we have a Philippine Airlines from Narita Cebu, Cebu to Narita, and they are flying March 19. 
Now, for Qatar Airways naman, for Do- Doha to Cebu, Cebu to Doha, Qatar, they have scheduled daily. Same with the Emirates, from Dubai to Cebu, Cebu to Dubai, they also fly uh, daily. Another is the Scoot, from Singapore to Cebu, Cebu to Singapore. So they are flying five times weekly. That is every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, from Incheon, Korea, South Korea Airport to Cebu, and then Cebu to Incheon with Jeju Air, they fly one time weekly, and that is every Wednesday. Now, another airline is the Jin Air, flying from Incheon to Cebu, Cebu to Incheon Airport. They fly one time, and that is every I mean, one time weekly every Monday, okay? Now, for pass international passengers from Hong Kong to Cebu, Cebu to Hong Kong, and arriving at the Mactan Cebu International Airport, so they are flying or they have a schedule tomorrow, March 14, through Cathay Pacific. And the last one is the Turkish airline. This is for flying from Istanbul, Cebu, Cebu to Istanbul. Turkey. So they fly three times weekly. Departure would be Wednesday, Saturday, and Monday. And of course, the arrival is every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. All right. So guys, you know, changes or the schedules may change anytime. We are advising international passengers to check with their preferred airlines, the schedule of their available flights, you know, to their intended destination, okay? Now, all international arriving passengers, regardless if you are Filipinos, uh, balikbayan of former Filipinos, and foreign national, shall comply with the following protocols prior to arrival at the Mactan Cebu International Airport. Number one is, the general protocol number one is, of course, it is already a requirement that you need to present a negative RT-PCR test result taken within 48 hours prior to departure. You also need to present proof of full vaccination. And also, you will register for an account on the One Health Pass website via www.onehealthpass.com.ph. That is within, I mean, the registration for the One Health Pass should be within three days before your scheduled arrival date at the Mactan Cebu International Airport. So guys, I have, I will put in the link below, I have created uh, a step-by-step guide on how to register for a One Health Pass. So you have a reference to. Now, for our international arriving passengers, uh, Filipinos, overseas Filipino workers, or returning overseas Filipinos, if you are fully vaccinated, you would, of course, it's a general protocol that before flying or before, you know, before you bo- on board the plane, you would have to present the negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours. And of course, you would be released upon arrival. No more quarantine at the facility-based hotel. But you would just need to self-isolate or self-monitor for symptoms for seven days. That is for the fully vaccinated OFWs and returning Filipinos, okay? Now, if you are an OFW or a returning uh, Filipino and you are unvaccinated, you're partially vaccinated, or your vaccination status cannot be verified, by the BOQ, so you would present a negative PCR test within 48 hours before you board the flight. Now, when you arrive at the Mactan Cebu International Airport, you will need to swab again upon arrival. Then, you would have you would need to swab again on the fifth day from the date of your arrival until the release of your neg- that's the second negative IPPC or test. And you would need to book for at least six days in a facility-based hotel for quarantine only at the accredited, you know, accredited uh, cl- hotels by the Department of uh, 
Department of Health. So I will also put the link in the description below the list of hotels accredited by the DOH. And of course, for example, you receive your negative, the second uh, RT-PCR test on the fifth day of your quarantine. So you would be released, you know, until the 14th day from the date of your arrival. So you would just self-monitor and that's the time that you would be released or you can continue with your home quarantine. All right. Okay. Now, there is also another requirement for foreign nationals, you know, entry requirements for foreign nationals. These are foreign nationals, you know, fully vaccinated from the visa-free countries under Executive Order 408, the 157 countries that are allowed entry since February 10 of 2022. Also, foreign nationals with the holders of 9A visa or the, with the entry exemption document. Also, foreign nationals with other types of visas. So these are the following list of uh, when these are the non-visa required countries, 157 of them. I will just flash in the screen so you have an idea and you have a reference to. Okay. All right. So for foreign nationals entering the Philippines visa-free, this includes former Filipinos with Balik Bayan privilege, foreign nationals from the countries entitled to stay not exceeding 30 days all right so you need to get to be fully vaccinated except for minors below 12 years old you need to present an acceptable proof of covid 19 vaccination you need to present an rt pcr test taken within 48 hours prior to the departure from your country of origin and you need to also present a valid return ticket not later than 30 days and the fifth requirement for foreign nationals entering the Philippines visa-free is, of course, your passport should be valid for at least six months. And then the travel insurance for COVID-19 as well, minimum coverage of $35,000. And also seven days salt monitoring for symptoms. That is for the foreign nationals entering the Philippines visa-free. So you, you, don't, you no longer need you know, to quarantine at the hotel. Okay. Now, for foreign children traveling with Filipino nationals, for unvaccinated foreign children below 12 years old traveling with Filipino parents, they shall follow the health and quarantine protocols of their Filipino parents traveling with them. Now, for unvaccinated foreign children from 12 years old to 17 years old traveling with Filipino parents, they shall also follow the health and quarantine requirements relative to their vaccination status of the Filipino parents traveling with them. Now, how about the foreign nationals? So we're done with the foreign nationals uh, included in the visa-free countries. So we are going to be talking about foreign nationals entering through E9A visa or with uh, entry exemption documents. So, of course, they need to be fully vaccinated, of course, uh, except for 12 years old traveling with a fully vaccinated parents. They need to provide proof of vaccination. They need to have a negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours prior to departure from the country of origin. They need also to self-monitor you know, monitor for symptoms. Now, if you are foreign nationals with a 9A visa holder, who failed to present acceptable proof of vaccination shall be subject to five days, five days facility-based quarantine until the release of our negative RT-PCR test plus home quarantine until 14 days. Now, how about the foreign nationals with other types of visas other than the 9A visa, other than, you know, other than 9A visas or maybe a foreign national from a non-required visa countries, these are, your, these are your travel protocols. You need to be fully vaccinated, uh, proof of vaccination, negative RT-PCR test, self-monitoring for symptoms, all right? But, you know, so if you are foreign nationals, unvaccinated or the vaccination status cannot be verified by the Bureau of Quarantine, you will not be allowed 
to enter the Philippines, you will be denied entry. All right? So I want, please take note of that, guys. So the Philippines now is not yet allowing entries of unvaccinated foreign nationals. So please um, check or contact the, or check the updates from the Bureau of Quarantine and the release, the press release of, from the, I mean, from the IATF. So as early as or starting April 1, hopefully we could, there would be changes, you know, it's up to the IATF if they would start allowing, you know, entries for unvaccinated foreign nationals. But for now, they're not accepting yet. They're not try to book up a flight when you're not sure that, you know, you can't get, you know, you can't get accepted or you will be denied entry. All right. Now, for speaking of, you know, the cause of quarantine for, these are for unvaccinated, partially vaccinated, or unverifiable vaccinated status of returning Filipinos and all overseas Filipino workers and foreign nationals. Now, for overseas Filipino workers, the OWA shall shoulder the cost of your quarantine facility. So you would not spend anything for you during your quarantine period for OFWs. These are overseas Filipinos who, got, who have, have worked abroad and they just return home to the country for vacation. So you don't need um, to shell out money for your quarantine. It's free and it's going to be shouldered by the OWA or the Overseas Workers Welfare Administration. Now, if you are foreign nationals, you are a returning overseas Filipinos, the cost of your accommodation at the accredited quarantine hotel are shouldered by you. Okay? Everything will be shouldered by you. All right? So, that's it for today, guys. I hope you find my video helpful. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more updates. And please also hit the notification bell and the like button. Comment down below if you have more questions. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!